What's up YouTube? So today we're doing some DaVinci Resolve 17 stuff and we're primarily going to be talking about callouts. So callouts are kind of a cool text effect that has like a line pointing to the object you're talking about and you can kind of describe products and do some cool sort of b-roll about products you're talking about. Maybe you're reviewing a product and you want the little lines to touch the individual parts of the product. Callouts are what you'd use and DaVinci Resolve 17 is free so you can actually use this in DaVinci Resolve. I'm also going to show you this little slider that I've always used for my DJI Pocket 2 which is what I use to actually do some b-roll. So you can actually arc these wheels so the actual product sort of goes in a circle around a product so you could put a product over there. So the nice thing about this particular product is you can sort of mount your DJI Osmo Pocket to the top and I've used the previous motorized dolly but the previous one broke. Allegedly it has like 10 speeds and it takes up to 6 kilograms of weight. I'm not so sure about that 6 kilos. That's like 13 pounds. I don't think it takes that much but you know, false advertising. But anyway, you've got a little play button and a remote control. This is a wireless remote control, so it's quite nice. You can push the play, you can reverse it to the opposite direction. You can see how slow it's going right now. This is the speed one, and every time you click the button up, it'll start going a little bit faster. I think that's like speed four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You can also pause it just before it's about to fall off the side of the table. So it's quite nice. Reverse direction, that's the top speed, and you, I mean, top speed would be nice if you're doing some sort of B-roll of yourself or something, but this is nice for doing product reviews, so if you had this in the center, you could easily pan past and use these callouts that I'm going to show you in DaVinci Resolve 17. So before I show you the callout effect in DaVinci Resolve 17, I made a little quick video using some of these callouts just to show you kind of the idea that you can do with them. So I mean, it was quite a quick video, so don't be too critical, but this is a video and then I'll show you DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorial. Meet Olivia. Olivia was no different to you or I. She was, however, born partially deaf. You see, despite that, she wanted to become a dancer. She trained without fear or favor, six days a week. She was invited into the Bolshoi Ballet Academy and won Dancer of the Year. Her career took her to many places, from the cobblestones in Greece. She saw the untouched beaches in Australia, witnessed the splendor of the Brazilian rainforest. She felt small in the Arizona desert, but it was Thailand that took her breath away. The waters were pristine and crystal clear. You see, you get in life what you have the courage to ask for. So what's your excuse? Okay, I'm in DaVinci Resolve 17 and as you can see I've just got a lady walking down the street. On the top left you'll see your effects library. If you go over to the titles you can actually see some examples of different titles you can just drag over the top of your video clip. And it works pretty well and it even previews it which is quite nice. But now another effect in the list is the call out effect which if you actually hover your mouse over it previews and shows you it draws a little line. But I would rather add this call out in the Fusion tab. So we're going to go into the Fusion tab at the bottom because this will allow us to track. So go into the Media in one and press Shift Space bar and add a Planner Tracker. Now we have a new node in the Nodes window and if we actually look at our timeline we just have to verify that it's at the starting position which is 43 at the bottom left and you can verify that with the right hand side 43. Now what we can do is click the Planner Tracker and actually set the tracking type and we are simply going to use translation for the motion type which will allow us to sort of translate the text as she walks along. This will allow us to use the call out to sort of bounce along as the lady walks. So what we can do now is actually start setting our tracking markers. So we're just going to click a few points along her jacket which has got a little bit of contrast and we'll click the set button on the reference time 43 frames and then actually click track to end on the right hand side and this one goes pretty quick. Now we see two things. All those little white dots are tracking markers along the timeline. We can actually click the Planner Tracker at this stage and click Create Planner Transform in the Inspector window. This will give us a new node with all the tracking data. This means we don't need the Planner Track anymore because we have all the tracking information in that Planner Transform of a jacket. Now go back to the Effects Library and then you'll see a little search bar. Type Call 
And if you don't see callouts, click the edit template section and then you'll see callout. Drag it into your node window at the bottom. And now all we need to do is hold shift while dragging it and you'll see the lines color changes and you just drop it in between and it's added a new merge node that is actually the text. So the callout is on the green, which is the foreground and the yellow, which is the lady, we'll just call her Olivia, is going into the background. So the callout is being merged over this actual background, which is Olivia. Now we still want this actual text to sort of bounce along as the lady is walking. So you can see Olivia is walking and there's no actual movement of the text. So there's no link between the two. But before we do that, let's just change the text to Olivia. And let's go to the planet transform, which is going to actually move our little call out along as she walks. And to do that, we just hold shift with a planet transform and connect it in between the call out and the merge node. And now you can see Olivia is actually bouncing along. The text moves along as her head moves. But we still have some issues with the actual little line that is drawn, as you can see. So let's go click the call out in our node network and you'll see a whole bunch of properties on the right hand side. You can move the text position X and Y, which will just move the text up and down or left and right if you want to. We can push it to the right or push it back to the left again. It's nice to use this for product type stuff, but today we're just using it sort of to point to Olivia. And you can also change the color of the text, the line and whatever you want to do. As I said, this is a great effect for sort of keeping with a product review. But at this stage, we'll just change the font of the text to something a little bit more exotic. And this actually gives you quite a nice effect, as you can see here. By using callouts, you can get kind of creative. Meet Seabone, Adrian and Vinny. They'll probably kick your ass.